Hi all, welcome back. In this video, I am going to explain about the primary component chips, which is also called tags. The chips is used to enter multiple values on an input field. So this is how it looks. So here I am just adding some text and pressing enter, then it will become a chip or a tag. So you can see I can add any number of multiple inputs and it will become as a tag. Okay, so let's see how we can implement this chips module. First, you have to import the chips module from the PrimeNG chips. So I just copied it, comes to your app.module.ts. It's if you have a multiple module.ts file, then make sure wherever you want to use this chips component, please import that in the corresponding module instead of always importing in the app.module.ts file if you are using lazy loading and all. Okay. So I'm sorry, I'm just importing here and adding the chips module into this import array. Since the chips module is coming with the input like a form element, you have to add either you have to either use a template driven form or you have to use the reactive form. So first I will use the ng model, then I will use the form control name that is a reactive form. First you have to import forms module for using the ng model so i'm just using forms module from the angular forms adding that in the import section once that has been added go to the html part and add chips give the ng model ng model and give a value as well so i'm just giving a name as values and this needs to be added in the component.ts file just adding and i am declaring it as an array because it is accepting multiple values so it is an array so saving after save you can see will be able to see a chips component chips input box and if i type something in there it will get added see this will be chips but you notice the chip size is getting increased more and more so one thing you can do you can either declare a style okay you can add the style or you can add the style class as well since i am using the prime flex there is a default class inside the prime ng so i am just adding a div here and adding a class called p fluid then based on the screen size, it is taking 100% of the width. Okay, so you can enter the values here. Okay, so this is how we implement the basic chips. The next step is, if you want to add a placeholder, you can simply add the placeholder here. So add tax, then it will appear here. And the next thing is the max tag. If you want to add a condition, you will be able to enter maximum three tags in an input box. So then you can give max equal to three. That's it. Then if you try to add multiple tags, more than three, it won't accept it. Now, as you see, when I press the enter only, the tax is getting added. But if you want to add a comma, if you if you enter a character, if you press a character also, special character also, you want to make it as a tag, what you can do, there is a option called separator. Separator equal to, then you can give comma. Then what will happen if you press the, if you after you type the characters and if you press the comma, it will, it will be added as a tag, okay. And also you will be able to press enter as well. So this is the another option for uh, making a separator. The other option is show clear. So show clear, by default show clear will be uh, false. Why? Because the show clear is if you for each tag there will be a close button clear button but if you want to clear all the tags together 
you will be able to add using a show clear. So, if I am giving a show clear as a true, you will be able to see a close button here and if I type something, then if you press this close button, it will be clear together. Okay, that is a show clear option. And also, there are different types of um, events they are supporting. The different types of events also the chips is getting supported. For example, if you go to the documentation and go to the API section, you can see on add, on remove, on focus, on blur, on chip click and on clear. The main thing I am going to show you as on add, on remove and on chip click. Okay. So for that, I am just adding three events in the chip. So I am just adding three events in the chips here and I am going to add these three functions in the TS file. What these three functions do? It's simply consoling the events return from the from the each event. Okay. So after I save that, you can see if I enter something and press comma or enter new this trigger is getting this event is getting triggered. The add event is getting triggered and it will return the value and also the original event. So the value is the one which which we have added now. If I am adding another one and press enter, it will return the next value. Okay. And if you remove, it will also call that it will uh, trigger own remove event and it will return which tag is getting removed. Okay. So if you want to see some success or error message, so you will be able to get on, uh, you know, on the remove chip. And if you want to see which chip has been clicked on chip click, so you will be able to see this chip has been clicked. Okay. So there are other tags also, other events also you will, you can try on focus, on blur and on clear. Okay. Obviously by its name, you will be able to understand it will be triggered when on focus, on blur and on clear, on click on the clear button. Okay. So this is how um, the total events. Okay. The next thing is I'm going to discuss. Now you will be able to add a simple text and when you pr press the comma, it will get added. But if you want to add some extra content, so if I type test, if you want to tell like, okay, need to say then some text is needs to be appended when you uh, type something. For that, you can use the ng template. So ng template also you can try. So for that, inside the speech chips, you can add the ng template and you can close the ng template here. Sorry. So what I'm doing, I'm adding an ng template and I'm telling whichever the values coming in the values array, each item, I'm taking and naming it as item and this item I'm showing with a hyphen and a active static static text okay yeah that's it once that has been added you can see i'm pressing enter then hyphen active is getting automatically added with this one so this is how you can you know um you can change the way it looks based on your requirement you can add any content in the ng template as well so this is how the speed chips works based on the ng model and if you want to uh, achieve the same thing using the reactive forms what you can do just change the app module.ts file forms module to reactive forms module add that in the array section then going to the ts file add a form control add a group okay so instead of values i'm just adding a group with the new form group I'm adding a form control there and I'm just adding the values with the initial value as a empty array and which accepts only the empty string. Now I'm saying like that. Then coming to the HTML part instead of the ng model, you can give form control name. That's it. So if you come here and okay. So, sorry, what happened is I didn't add any form group. So, you have to add a form group also. So, here you have to add a form group. 
once that has been added you can add any text see the trigger even this trigger everything is working as previous so this is how we can implement the same thing using the reactive forms as well